When Malachi Corley of Western Kentucky, wide receiver, gets his hands on the football, things happen. Have you always been like that? Uh, yeah, ever since I was in high school or going all the way back to fifth and sixth grade, you know, I've always been good with the ball in my hands. Uh, playing 1A football in Campbellsville, Kentucky, I had 19 kids on my region championship team. So um, getting the ball in every single way in order to make our team successful, you know, so that's always been a part of my game. Uh, always had a lot of toughness to my game as well, making guys miss after the catch. And honestly, in high school, I got a lot of pitches, a lot of handoffs and stuff like that. So that was a big part of my game growing up, being able to adjust that to college when I'm running through the tackles and then I'm translating to running over corners and stuff like that. So it got a lot easier for me uh, in that regard, especially, you know, putting on a lot of muscle and putting on a lot of strength that made uh, those decisions to just barrel over guys a lot easier for me. If you had a dollar for every time somebody told you you were a running back or you were built like a running back, would you be a very wealthy man? I'd be an extremely wealthy man. Even here, scouts have asked me, Are you, you play running back? I've even been as linebacker while I've been here. So, uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, I love having that this stature and stuff like that and being able to move in the way that I can. Uh, you know, it's a it's a very good advantage for myself. You're a very thick dude. Do you think some teams down here have seen you and thought, okay, he can do this, that a guy of your stature and with your build is able to do the thing that the, the long guys, the tall guys, the striders can do? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think that that's been a part of me coming to here, you know, showing that I can run the entire route tree and run the route tree with the best of the guys, even if they're a lot taller and a lot slender and a lot more longer than me. I can still get in out of my cuts just as good as them. I can still win vertically just as good as them. And also I have the advantage of being uh, stronger than a lot of guys, so I can use that as my advantage as well. What you learn playing football for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers? <laughs> uh, well, my coach used to tell me every single game, uh, we're going to go as far as you go. You know, if you don't play good, we're not going to win. Uh, so, being in that system and having a lot of pressure on my shoulders is something I really thrive in. Uh, so ultimately just being around uh, Bailey Zappi and Jared Stearns, Mitchell Tinsley, guys who really showed me the way to play the game, uh, real hard workers who never complain about anything, they showed me a lot in that way. Uh, and on top of that, having you know Coach Kitley and Coach Arbuckle who are now coaching at Power 5 schools, they taught me a lot about the, you know, the, the schemes of games and how to get open in the zones and stuff like that, and also showing me coverages and how to break those down. I would think with this build, you don't have any trouble with press coverage. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So everybody's talked about how fast you are yeah. and, and the speed. What, what do we think we're going to run at the combine? What, what are we hoping to run? Uh, right now I've been testing and I've been testing tens, just the tens. And I've been popping one, four, six, tens consistently, which is, you know, ahead of the pack of guys for the most part. And, uh, I'm planning to run a four, three, a high four, three, and hopefully flip the narrative and maybe get, uh, put my name into that first round ballot. But that 10 is really more important than the 40 in reality. Uh, because I have a lot of turnover and I'm a really fast guy. It's more so about getting that start and gaining as much ground as I can in the opening three steps. And, um, uh, you know, when I'm on my sixth step, hopefully being at around 11 yards and, you know, just running the turnover rates at the end of that. And I think I have enough speed in order to run a, uh, a mid 4-3 or low 4-3 even. I thought you would have Mr. Yak on your chain. Yeah, that's, the, uh, that's what everybody calls him, Mr. Yak, Mr. Yards after yeah. the catch. Uh, for draft day, I'll definitely have a Yak King chain, you know. Uh, you know, in my entire career, I had 2,300 yards of Yak. That's just you know, crazy. Un unbelievable. Just getting the ball, throwing at the line of scrimmage, throw me a screen, I'll see what I can do. Uh, 2022 had the most explosive plays of receiver in the country. Uh, 40 broken tackles, which is the second most all time in the season. Uh, you know, all those things are things that people can never take away from me. And that's uh, a big staple in my game and a part of why uh, I have the, you know, the presidents that I do. You know, the Titans could probably use a receiver. Had you heard that? Oh, absolutely. I've heard that. You know, <laughs> you know, Nashville's right down the road. You know, I'm aware of that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very close. Yeah, and, and this we have a lot of fans in. Campbellsville, but 100%. certainly in Bowling Green. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd love to be, able to be in that environment, and have you know all the friends and family and all the supporters from over the time being able to come to all those NFL games. You know, packing the game, my whole high school team come down to the game and everything like that. It'd be really nice. Mister Yak as a Titan, I love your game, Malachi Corley. Thanks so much. Absolutely, I'm appreciative you having me on here. Thank, Thank you. you. Good guy right here, Malachi Corley.